final score of 49 to 10. Boy, they take that score off the board in a hurry. The Ducks with a victory, 49-10 over Colorado. All right, so Oregon goes in and just like, you know, beats up my buffs and like that's all well and good. This Oregon team is really good. Bo Nix has played outstanding ever since they've got beat by Georgia, which leads me to this last kind of point during this show. Why in the hell did Oregon agree to go play Georgia in Atlanta? Like scheduling matters a great deal. It might be one of the only things that matter. Like college football has become about recruiting and scheduling. <laughs> Honestly, like recruiting and scheduling. Do you have the requisite talent and are the games played in the right spot? And this year as a case study in that fact. And schedules are made really by two means, by choice and by draw. Okay, and, and the choice part becomes the part that is, I think, most fascinating for me. This game, Oregon played against Georgia in Atlanta, by the way, which is just a road game. It's a road game. You might, like, go play them in Athens and have them come back to Eugene. They did a one-off, quote-unquote, neutral site <laughs> with Georgia, not reciprocated, at least to my knowledge, up to this point, that they agreed to play at the end of 2018. So they do this game, they schedule it in 2018, right after Georgia had played for the national championship. So they know Georgia's really good, they're recruiting at a high level, and they're like, yeah, we'll come down and play in one of those kickoff games in Atlanta. Oh, like, what... What are we what are we doing? Because here is a fact about this season. If Oregon would have just played Hawaii in week 1 in Eugene, fill up your stadium, play Hawaii. They'd be number 2 or 3 in college football right now. And on the smooth sailing road to the college football playoff. That game did nothing but hurt them. There was no reason and no benefit to playing that game. None. Scheduling matters. I have no idea why they did that. By the way, you could say the same for Utah. Utah is doing a home and home with Florida. Way to go. You went and played in the swamp. Guess, you, guess what you get for it? No path to the college football playoff. <laughs> None. Texas has to go to Alabama next year. Good luck making the playoff going to Alabama. Why is that? So, like, why is that, Joel? Like, why do you just say that right now? By the way, Florida, going to, uh, to Utah next year. They're going to Salt Lake. Well, good luck. You could make a magical run through the SEC. You're likely to have at least a loss. Why? Because you're going on the road to a good quality opponent. And this is where the draw matters, okay? So you can choose your non-conference opponents, and clearly Oregon chose poorly, but then the draw within your league. Look at the, the discrepancy between what's going on in your home games and your road games if you're a good quality team in college football. I touched on it a little bit last week, but look at these numbers. And by the way, how about this last weekend? Notre Dame at home, they get a win. right? Georgia at home, they get a win. Um, LSU at home, they get a win. Case study. Case study. There have been seven this year top 10 matchups that we've gotten in college football. Do you know the road team? Guess, guess, wait for it. 0 oh, 7 in those games. There have been 11 top 15 matchups in college football this year. Guess what the road team's record is? 1 and 10. The only win in a top 15 matchup so far is Ohio State at Penn State. So what are we doing? What are we doing as far as scheduling goes? Well, you got to have the right schedule when it comes to your conference draw, but you better choose to play the correct schedule in the non-conference, and that's not good. This is why, folks, this is why we've got to expand the playoff. 
so that we can incorporate and play these games in the non-conference so that we can have these games in the non-conference. And yet there's still a clearly defined path to the postseason for anybody that plays those games in the non-conference. Because right now, these teams are not being rewarded for taking or playing these games. They're not. And you could say to yourself like, well, what if Oregon were to beat Georgia? But they're not going to, right? Because look at the numbers, seven top 10 matchups. Road team, 0-7. You just don't beat good teams on the road. So why agree to go play them in those environments, even in home and homes? Because then you're flipping a coin based on the year of where you're going. Alabama, what did I tell you about earlier this year or earlier in this episode? At Texas, 105,000. At Tennessee, 101,000. At LSU, 102,000. They got screwed by the draw and the choice. So they lose those two games in that regard. The schedule matters in college football, and that's why we need an expansion of this playoff. We need the defined path to get to the conference championship game and to win your conference so that we can still have these games in the non-conference because right now there's no incentive to playing them, and ADs are going to stop scheduling them. Even, by the way, Ohio State and Notre Dame, so they play in in this year in the non-conference. Is that really helping Ohio State all that much right now? No. Because you beat them and it's like, well, they're no good. They've got a loss. This sport just doesn't lend itself to those matchups. So in order to keep them, we need to define the path to the postseason. I think that's a critical, critical part to all of this. Schedules matter, folks. And in in a sport in which we're all chasing after one championship, we all play very different schedules. Very different. Utah and Oregon are playing basically six true road games this year apiece, while Michigan and Ohio State are playing four true road games apiece. We need to fix that. We need to fix that, and I think we can do it through the expansion and through a couple of other means that I've talked about before, but that can be fixed and hopefully should be and will be in the future. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.